Hi guys, Tech Jones here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to install Paper Mario 3D Land onto your Windows 7, 8 or 10 PC. So, if you guys don't know what this is, it's basically a ROM hack that combines Paper Mario and Mario 3D Land into one game. So you want to head over to the link in the description. Um, this ROM hack is going back a bit now, it was made in September 2014, but I think it's actually a really good game and I just thought I would shed a bit more light on it because not many people know it exists and not many people realise that this is actually a um, PC game. So on this webpage, just scroll down until you get to the download option. It's just going to take you to this new page and all you want to do is just head over and click the view slash download button. It's then just going to download the file, so it's about 30 megabytes. So it's a really small game. Um, this game pretty much runs on any PC, desktop or laptop. You really don't need high specs and it's actually a really good quality game. So once you've got the game downloaded, just head over to your downloads folder. From there, what you want to do, you want to do right click and then extract here. It's then just going to extract all the files into a folder. You can then open it. So in this folder, it has all of the necessary files and stuff like that. And then it has the program itself. So let's say you want to add this to your desktop, all you want to do is do right click and then do send to um, desktop create shortcut. Now you can just back up to your desktop and you will find it here, um, Super Mario 3D Land. So you can go ahead and just run the program right now. But before you do that, there is actually a readme file inside of the folder. Um, it's got controls like enter, um, a for running, S, you can just read all the controls here. You can also use an Xbox 360 controller if you want to, and keep in mind that you have to press F4 to go into full screen mode. So now I'm just going to go ahead and run the program. And guys, to exit the game, all you have to do is press escape. So the game is actually quite loud and I couldn't actually find a way to mute it so I could hear the sound and talk over it, so it was just kind of impossible. But that is pretty much it for this video. So as you can see, the game is very easy to install. Um, if you're into ROM hacks, any of that kind of stuff, I def definitely recommend it. It's a completely custom game. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.